Hello everyone, this is Mock Shutter, and I'm gonna start this slide you band of these restricted playthrough. Uh, by this I mean that I will intentionally make the game harder for myself, like not buying any gadgets at all, except for the required ones to keep playing the missions. So let's get to it. In the previous video I already started a few missions here and there. It was mostly the black satellite thing. And the first mission after the satellite thingy is the breaking and entering. Uh, the, I should take no damage from the fight sequences. Obviously, don't get spotted. And no killing more guards than I'm supposed to. So, it, for example, like killing one guard to make things easier. In, in a sense that uh, I don't get spotted afterwards. Like, yeah. So this is the fight sequence where I should take no damage at all. So I can't just go go in and mash square like a random button masher. Uh, let's see. Oh! There's the first one. Yeah, I try to stay on the defensive since the Murray will just take care of these guards anyway. Faster, like thousand times faster than I could ever do. Oh. So, yeah, we didn't even break the place as much. How Murray is able to explain all that while lifting that very heavy lift or whatever it is, switch. Yeah, from here on out, there won't be any fight sequences during this mission. And it's just going to be mostly sneaking through lasers and spotlights. Or, well, past spotlights. <laughs> well, so, yeah. There are two instances where I have to take out guards to keep going. So uh, other than that I won't be killing any guards at all or even touching them with the club. So just go past these tables and it's gonna be another case where we're gonna use the table to get past that dude over there on the left. There's an air vent where we must go through, like, crouching. This is the first instance where I have to take down a guard to keep, to keep going with this mission. Yeah, so just first triangle button to lift the opponent in the air and then square to slam it down for a one hit kill. So there's the first lasers off. Yeah. Well, I'm not supposed to get spotted in this mission at all. So it's pretty much all I can really do. One hit kill. And then there's. Oh god. Man, I really... I never really... Exactly. How many of them there are the rats in there? Crap. Man. Man, I seriously don't like when those... Little weaker guards don't have the spotlight thing. So, it's harder to determine where I should keep my distance at from those guards. Right. Apparently there's two of them and here I will just observe this uh, this room for a moment or two I guess so till I get their pattern down I just stand in there and try to find an opening so there's the other rat that keeps going in circles around that or all those. Well he, well, he just goes in a circle path. And the other rat, at the, at the far far away, near the air vent, it just keeps going left and right around that little sign over there. So I just sneak behind the second one, destroy the air vent very quick, and go in. 
<laughs> As you can see, it really attracted those two's attention. So here on now it's just gonna be the uh, some snapshot snapshots, like taking photos for further missions. It's gonna be reconnaissance. Ah, damn. Ah, stupid power stone. Hmm. Right, so that pretty much covers the mission. This is pretty much done by now. After after taking those snapshots and listening to Bentley to just explain you the controls, and then the mission is complete, and Sly automatically automatically gets out of there, and it's done. So I'll just leave you here for now. The next one's a Buck Dimitri's office mission with Sly. Restrictions are that don't get caught once, don't kill any guards, no rooftops at the beginning, like going to the actual place where you have to do the swapping. And after you, after I'm done with the mission, then I should take the swapped valuable home in one piece and use no rooftops for transportation as well as avoiding any violence and getting spotted by any guards. So it's a it's a bit tougher, but I'll manage it. I'll manage it. Like this. So let's get going. Immediately spotlight guard up on the left. So uh yeah, I won't use any rooftops for this. Pretty much. Just have to make sure that little rats won't spot me at all, so it's all good. But this is the easy part. When you get inside, there'll be crap loads of well guards of sorry, they'll just clean up the place all the time. But there are like four of them and it's a bit tricky to get through them, like past them, without ah uh, without showing yourself. So uh whoops <laughs> uh took a wrong route there. I'm supposed to go on the off the cliff edge like that. There's a clue bottle. I won't be collecting all those clue bottles because after all I'm just gonna use the abilities of the gadgets that are required for missions, like the parachutes or the paraglider or whatever it is. Yeah, I won't buy any skills at all. Not this smoke bomb, which is com which is very useful during combat for Sly, but it's not gonna be in use in during this playthrough. It's a tad harder, but we're gonna make it. Yeah, you can't just jump uh, jump in there with a very well timed double jump. It's it's a bit too far away without any without a wild jump skill. Or the, the the huge uh, jump leap skill you get 
at near the end of the game. It's pretty godlike. So here are the guards. Or are they guards? They're just they're just washers. Yeah. Yeah. Two of them are just standing there. But I'm not sure if they're how their uh point of view works. Like is it just a straight line or do they really see me if they really turn their head to the left? That they'll see me on the left, if they'll see me. So I have to do some more. Uh, some more observing. Yeah, as a master thief, you should always know your evi environment. Yeah. But obviously, I'm not gonna kill any of them. Because even if I would try to kill one of them, the rest would just spot me and try to fight me, which is not the point of this mission with these restrictions. I'm not supposed to be I'm not supposed to get caught not once. So even just touching a guard would just screw the whole thing up. Well with these restrictions anyway. This ain't any easy mode. Well I'm not gonna try and make it easy mode. Yeah you can't just to spiral jump on those little sharp things. Well, yeah, I don't even have the skill yet. Get it at the second stage, the second chapter, which is Rashan in India. But we'll return to that later. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll probably have to observe a lot more when I get further down this game but that was just like a little sneak preview of what's to come later so there's another air vent so yeah yup no guards spotted me so it's all good now we can now we just go through the air vent and there's the swapped valuable which if you take home in one piece, on, uh, that's the vault where you get a special skill. <sighs> now that I have this valuable, so if I can get this thing back in one piece, then I, I can sell it for lots of money. I don't have any money at all, since I haven't pickpocketed anyone that much. But we're gonna need that money for, for the required, for the mandatory gadgets. So it's better to gather them up now. Oh crap, I still have to leave this place. Yeah, I actually have to leave this place. Still, without getting noticed. Remember, one of the restrictions was that I must not get caught or use any rooftops while avoiding violence when taking this valuable painting home. Yeah, so we're not done yet. Not just yet. Oh, there's another rat. So, yeah, no rooftops for this one either. Oh, silly spotlight guard. I have to take up another route or. Maybe not. Yeah. Oh, it has some gold. Shiny. So let's... Yeah, that's a gold comp. It's pretty neat. So sell it for lots of cash. Because money is the answer. Oh, another value. There we go. It's a silver comb. Hmm. Don't, 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 don't turn. Ah, oh, son of a, son of a gunner. Whatever. I'll just stay behind this one. Slowly but surely, I'm getting there at this to the safe house. That mission's uh, uh, the follow the Dimitri mission. 
it's going to be featured in this video next when I get back to the safe house. It's going to be the third and final one for this one, for this video. So you won't have to watch for like one hour straight. Because I don't know many people who actually have all the time to watch the watch a one hour video straight. So I'm just gonna cut these in parts. While having this poor commentary on. But yeah, this is the Follow the Dimitri mission. Uh I just must not hide under tables or move on rooftops. And I also got to stay near to him. Well, AK, uh, don't lose the sight of him. Well, yeah, if you do lose the sight of him, then if you're far enough from him, the game thinks that you're not following him and you just failed a, this mission. But I'm just gonna be that, like, I'm gonna stay very near to him all the time. And, like, not losing him from the camera, not so much. Dimitri, the nightclub owner. Her. So yeah, I actually failed this mission a few times, but oh, I've got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I've always got to do that whenever I play this mission. Ring the bell for a more, one, few more times, and Dimitri's all like, "What the hell?" But he won't spot me. He won't see me from there. Yes, yeah, stay cool, Dimitri. I'm gonna stay right behind you, like this. Yeah, I just did that. Got to keep it smooth, you know. Damn, he's smoking all the time. I hate to be in, in sliced trousers. If he actually had one. <laughs> So yeah, we're just gonna go in circles whenever he turns around a good 360 degrees. I'm just gonna go with the flow, like be like water. <laughs> yep, I ain't hide hiding under tables either. I'm just gonna go with the flow, be like water. I've already said it two times. God damn. He's gonna turn around one more time when he's got past that water tower. You could also just go to the right and up in up those stairs and just stay behind the barricade or whatever it is. Yeah, fence. But yeah. That's pretty much it. The mission is clear. So this mission would Unlocking the first mission for Murray. He's just a total powerhouse and beats everyone and doesn't afraid of anything. So, we're gonna go into that mission next, in the next part, which won't be too far off. So, until next time, this is Muggy signing off.